Hi, I'm Shaniqua with Press Pass TV, and we are here at English High School, where many community organizers have thrown a forum for city councilmen at large. MPI shouldn't be a graduation requirement. And it shouldn't be a graduation requirement because it takes away the classroom and has you guys focused on a once-in-a-lifetime test that you have to pass. puts a lot of pressure on you for a one-shot deal. And if it doesn't work out right, it dissuades a lot of people from wanting to go forward. Often when we need to contact a government official, we get sent all over around and cannot talk to the person that we want to. How will you ensure that the people have direct access to you? I mean, one of the best ways, obviously, is to give people your cell phone so they can reach you directly. Okay. Why? What's wrong with that? No, I mean, we're... You said it. No, I mean, I think that we're elected to represent people. We need to make sure if, you know, if we promise that we're going to do something, that we don't give them our staff number, our office number, we give them our cell phone number, because I think that's the best accountability measure you're going to have. I think the, the one thing that any elected official should understand is who they work for, right? And that's the biggest problem in, in some of this is there's a, a flip of the power. They, they, there's some believe that because they're elected, somehow they're somehow more important than us, so they govern over us. I actually believe the opposite. I believe when you're elected, a good leader knows when to follow and knows how to work with people around you. That only happens by being accessible, and so that's our commitment. What is something that you want to see the councilman change? Well, as for me, I want them to make sure the community is clean. And also, yeah, for real, because in, especially in my neighborhood, Dorchester is kind of like messy a little bit. They need to take care of that and also like provide um, free programs for high school students. I think he needs to make the city of Boston a safer place because there's too much violence going on. Police chief stated that the violence in our communities is directly linked to what's happening in the prisons. Will you commit to meeting inmates before release back into the communities? Is there crime and punishment in our society? Sure, there is. I think, however, we need to also understand that, you know, it's punishment enough to not be with us in society. And that while they're in doing their time, we need to make sure that we're preparing them to not go back in to do more time. And that's by rehab in the place, that's by treating them like human beings inside the jail system. Yes, I would commit uh, to meeting with, with uh, brothers and sisters who are incarcerated uh, to, to, uh, and, and, and about to get out. But also, I would also commit to uh, working with them so they have a better chance of not uh, getting back in. I think that's the most important piece. Because when we start demonstrating that we actually care, I think you'll see a lot of changes. Uh, I would like for him to better, better the situations that we're having, take away the cameras from on top of the buildings, making it uncomfortable for us. I want them to take away from the, I want them to take away the police and exchange them for street workers. I want the money to, I want more money to go to youth programs around the area. I want the gentrification to stop. I want all the corporations to go away. Out of the eight candidates invited, seven were confirmed, yet only four showed up. How do you feel about the candidate turnout? Well, it's still early in the event, and given a very busy election season, um, we're hoping that more will be able to come as the evening progresses. However, if we do have a significant amount of absences, um, I think it's somewhat indicative of how the candidates feel about the youth voice in Boston. And if the absences do turn out to be solid throughout the evening, um, you know, I think it speaks for itself. I just wanted to thank you all for coming out here and covering our event. Um, Sociedad Latina worked in partnership with the Hyde Square Task Force, uh, Dorchester Bay Economic Development Corporation, Mass Vote, uh, the Brian J. Honan Fellows, and yes, I think that's it. Oh, and also Alternatives for Community and the Environment and REAP. Um, and just for all of the effort of the youth, I am just so proud of them all. And thank you again, and we really look forward to working with you in the future.